Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Get Wrecked. It is the morning of day 22. We are starting off here back at the Pink Palace to grab the loot that I left behind. I had a few people tell me where it is basically. A lot of people though wanted to see me go up this ladder um, because I started going up it and then I woke some zombies up and then I ran away. Uh, speaking of zombies, I think we alerted at least one of them. Anyway, I remember killing a zombie coming up this ladder when it broke the hatch. So I was sure this ladder wasn't the way up to where the loot is. I'm gonna knock this ladder out though, cause we definitely have a zombie coming up. Sorry lady. Where's she going? Oh, there's another way up here. The laundry room ladder. We gotta go destroy that. Here we are. Oh shit. I guess there's another way up here. Let's finish knocking this out. And yeah, there's another ladder right over here. This must be the other laundry room. Alright, we should be good now. I don't have to worry about any more zombies coming up to fuck with us. Now, for the loot, I was told there's a fake wall over here. I tried all this, though, I thought. I don't think I tried the other side. Oh, there's nothing here. Maybe these bars? Son of a bitch. You believe that? Well, there's a lesson for you folks. Don't rush through life. Or you miss all the good shit. Well, nice little grab this morning. Can't complain about that. All right, let's go. Time to hit the road. We're doing some exploring. You know what? I'm just going to jump off the roof here. We'll, we'll land, we'll like squeeze onto the balcony like that. Work our way down that way. Oops. No, we're fine. Probably could have just jumped off the entire roof. With the points we put in the parkour, we'd be fine. I brought all these schematics with me. Because I figure if we find a trader, I'll sell them. And if we don't find a trader and we need inventory space, I'll just read them for the XP. All right, we are heading south because believe it or not, that's the only main road heading out of this city. Now, we know that road heads to the green grass biome where Joel is. So we're just going to go down to that town and then we'll find a main road that leads out of that town. And we'll follow that and see where that leads us. Well, this is Joel's town, and the road forks here. Let's go west, because the desert is in the southwest. I mean, it is in the United States, so it must be that way everywhere. Oh, it's good to be back. Well, not for the chickens. It's bad news for them. Oh, this road is leaving town. Let's take a quick look at the map. Yeah, okay. Well... Let's follow it and see where we end up. It's taking us back into the wasteland, which is not the ideal situation. But we'll just keep chugging along here. Looks like a town up ahead. I don't see any skyscrapers, so probably not a city. Maybe just a small little town. Cruise around this place and see uh, if we can find a road that leads out of this town and keep going. Uh, what do we got here? Does that just loop around? Yeah, that's what that does. Alright, we got two main roads leading out of this town. I'm gonna go south. Because that's where the desert is, right? Oh shit, I guess I was right. There it is, baby. The desert. I don't see a town. But that's okay, I really wasn't looking for a town in the desert. I was just looking for the desert. Because look at all this oil shale already. The desert is a great place to mine. Tons of oil shale, iron, and nitrate powder. Well, that was good. Got a whole bunch of oil shale, got some nitrate powder. I'm not gonna go too crazy though, because now we know where the desert is and it's not that far away. So we can come back here whenever we want or whenever we need to. I don't feel like mining resources all day anyway. Let's see if we can find a town out here. 
Oh, I see some buildings. And where there is a town, there is, uh, well, sometimes a trader. It'd be nice to find one of those out here. There's something going on. Over this hill. I see a flag. I see some smoke. There we go. Little old west town. With the compo pack trader. Let's see who this is. Rex Rifles. Oh, it's the old man. It's me as an old man. Whole bunch of crates right here, but they're all sealed. So they're just a fucking tease. We can't get into them because it's a traitor. There's a couple weapons bags, though. Nice. Okay. A couple of mods. I'll probably just sell those. I guess we're going up here. Okay, fucker. Oh, hey, fucker. How's it going, me as an old man? How's life been treating you? How's your prostate? Doing okay? Have you had to have a finger up your ass yet? Tell me, I need to know my future. Relax, I'm just gonna drink your awesome sauce. And now we can do business. There we go, almost two stacks of coin. What do we have? Gunpowder? Sure. Well, not much, Wrecked. 10 percent more damage when using a scope. Nah, I'll just wait to find that. Wow, pretty shitty. Rex Rifles, I thought you had to have more ammo. Zooming uses 15% less stamina? Fine. Art of Mining? Yep. 762, AP 762, that's more like it, but that's it. All right, now that we're done doing business, you got a nice little stack of loot back there. There is a hatch up there, I don't know. If I can get up there or not. Maybe I can jump up there. Oh. If parkour was maxed out, I definitely would be able to. I can't pull up there, obviously, because it's a traitor. You can't put any frames down. All right, well, let's cruise around and see if there's anything worth looting. Well, not really. That was a pretty shitty little town. I can just make out the silhouette of what looks like a gigantic building over here. Let's go check it out. Oh my god, is this what I think it is? Holy shit, it is. It's the Eden Center Mall! Oh my god, I didn't know this was part of the compo pack. Oh my god. Dude, we just found the fucking mother load. I mean, this place is ridiculous. I mean, just look how big it is. Three stories of stores. Tons of friggin' loot. I did a... Oh, we got zombies spawning in. I did a uh, tour of this place a while back. I forget what I named the video. I think Welcome to Eden. Or Welcome to the Eden Center Mall. I don't know. I'm sure you find it if you scroll back far enough. But uh, we're gonna go check it out. Because guess what? I've got my own store in this place. So that's where we're headed. It'll take our time, though, because if I just run straight for that store, we're dead. <laughs> we're going to wake up a lot of zombies, because my store is on the third floor, so... We just got to make our way up there carefully and slowly. And there's also a huge shotgun messiah in this mall with just an ungodly amount of loot. Where are the bears? There's supposed to be two bears in there. It's called Bats and Bears. I don't see the bears, though. We're waking up zombies over here. Oh, shit. And over there. All right. It's about to get real. Dead. Come on, bitches. I don't know how many are in that center area, but this store is clear. So let's let them come to us. All right. That wasn't so bad. We got one coming in from the outside. Yep, hitting these spikes. She dead. All right, we got to head for the second floor first, obviously. There are escalators around. I think uh, this way is the quickest way to go. Yeah, let's take our time, though. Because like I said, if we just run past all these stores, we're going to start waking zombies up, and then we're going to find ourselves in deep shit. 
Okay. This store is clear. Appears to be anyway. Family photos, and we got a vending machine that works. Ooh, eye candy. And I left my coin in the bike. We'll come back to that. Maybe we can find enough coin. Here in the mall. Like in this register. 51 coin. We need another 50 coin, and then we can buy a piece of eye candy. There's a dark room back here, which I'm sure has zombies in it. Let's see if we can take them out quietly. Wasteland treasures. Ah, we can now harvest coffins for gems and shit. A dark room is a place to develop photos, which is something that, if you're in your 20s or younger, you've probably never done before. And maybe, if you're into photography and stuff like that. But most people don't anymore. Everything's digital. All right. Let's keep it moving here. The uh, escalator is right here. Let's just check the info center. Make sure there are no zombies back here. Nope, oh, we're clear. Let's check the register, though. Bam! That's enough. All right, let's go grab one piece of eye candy. There you go. Good enough for me. I hardly use the candy anymore anyway. Probably should take her out before we head upstairs. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. I was on a roll. Ooh, nice. That was good. This crossbow's a beast. Oh, shit. Got the sleeper. Oh, boy. Nice. Come on out. All right. I would have liked that to electrocute him a little faster than fucking four hits, but it'll have to do. Oh, shit. Woke up everyone in the video store now. Oh. Damn it. I thought this place was clear. Guess not. That's how it's done. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm. Okay. Not bad. Good thing I put a silencer on this magnum. Dead. Uh, that could have gone smoother. But we're fine. Uh, let's rob the video store. Sweet. I was not prepared for the Eden Center Mall today, I'll tell you that. Here's the Shotgun Messiah. It is gigantic. We'll start clearing out all the zombies up here, and then, then we'll push for my store, and then we'll hit up the Shotgun Messiah on the way out. Like I said, I, w I didn't even know the Eden Center Mall was part of the Compo Pact. I had no idea it was in the world. That's pretty sweet. Just a ridiculous amount of stealth kills going on. Oh, so beautiful. That's a lot of dead bodies. Let's go upstairs now. And find my store. Yeah, it's like impossible to not get a one-shot sneak kill with this crossbow, especially with Hidden Strike pumped up to level four. Never mind. Big boy entered the chat. Oh, there's my store right there in the corner. This is all fenced off. But it's obviously the quickest way to go. I'm not going around that way. Fuck all that, so... Let's just break some barbed wire. Take a shortcut. There's a theater and arcade right here, which is awesome. I mean, so many really cool stores in this place. And so much hidden shit. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I never even found. But, uh... It's getting kind of late. I'm not spending the night in the mall. We're just gonna do my store, and we're gonna do the Shotgun Messiah, and then we're gonna head home. I did plan on spending the night out if it took us a while to find 
the desert or a, a decent town, but we found it really quickly. So, like I said, let's just do my store, do the shotgun messiah. We'll head home because I want to get some resources crafted tonight so we can get some repair work done to the base tomorrow, and we can always come back to the mall. All right, here we are. Glock's World of Cornmeal. <laughs> Motherfuckers. It's okay, I'll take it. That's a great store for me. You know, what else would I be selling? That's where former Glock makes his profit. I don't think it's a coincidence, though, that I'm next door to Got Crab's Seafood. You know? Motherfuckers. He's down. I think there's a little hidden room over here or something. Uh, maybe at the end. Yeah, something's going on over there. Let's take these zombies out before I wake them up. Can I get a coffee in my own store? I can, two of them. That's nice. Oh, I woke someone up. Where's that coming from? Back here? Oh, I, I thought that went deeper. I thought it was like a hidden room or some shit. Here we are. They're my employees. They're hazmat guys. You gotta wear a hazmat suit when you're making cornmeal. You don't want to breathe that shit in, you know? Alright, well, we got more coming. Probably from the Got Crab Seafood. He's a runner. Close that door. This uh, is my office up here. There used to be corn growing, now it's just a lonely piece of grass. This place has been updated since the last time I played it. I played it back in Alpha 19. So when Alpha 20 came out, they had to update it with, uh, you know, all the new blocks and shit. So some things um, may have been changed around a bit. Uh, level 4 pump shoddy. That'll sell for a good amount. Let's crack in here now. Helmet light mod, I'll take it. I swear there's more to this place, though. There's, like, hidden shit. I mean, I found that one hidden area in the wall. Maybe there used to be loot in there, and there's just not now. I don't... I don't remember. Hmm. I don't know. I... I thought it was something... here, maybe? In, like, this first floor? Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, see, there used to be loot in here. I think. There's nothing now. Oh, shit, never mind, there's something. There's a ladder going down. To a drop ceiling. Oh, this is just the store below me. I mean, we got some food right here. Of course. Of course there's fucking cornmeal in there. Um. Whoops. I don't know what store this is. Maybe the Doomsday Prepper store? Whatever, I'm just... I'm jumping down. Fuck it. Alright. We're good. Now, this is a pretty big store. Hour 18, we should be able to get through it, though, before it rolls over tonight. Because we probably don't want to be in the mall when it becomes night. Because then all these zombies become runners. I want to harvest the cement and cobblestone down here. There's definitely zombies on this side, though. Let's take them out first. Rest room is clear. There's an office. See a zombie in there. Let's get this chair out of the way. A few of them. 
All right, that's clear. She dead. Man, we are just racking up the kills today. Holy shit. I'll scrap the iron bolts. I'll take the iron arrowheads, though. Um, you know, it's almost unfair, this POI, honestly. Uh, there's just so much damn loot. You know what this POI is really made for? And I was going to do this. I had mentioned this when I first saw this place. Um, and then another YouTuber, Cap, he did it first, so I kind of backed off and I didn't, I didn't want to do it because he was doing it, but I was going to do a series where you just live in the mall and you cannot leave. Kind of like a Day of the Dead scenario when they, when they were trapped in the mall, uh, and they couldn't leave because they were just fucking zombies everywhere. That would be interesting if you just started off in the mall, you know, with what you would normally start the game with, and that's it. And you just have to survive in the mall for as long as you can using only the loot and the shit you can find in the mall. Because there is wood. You can get wood. There are trees in the courtyard. So you can chop them down and then you can sustain life. And before you know it, you'll have plenty of trees. I would allow digging down so you can make a mine. So you can harvest plenty of stone to make concrete and all the shit you're going to need. And then you build your base. You have your home. Everything is in the mall. You can't leave. And you decide... How often you want to have hordes show up every seven days or maybe every five days, that would probably be better. And then do you just keep going until you die or do you make an end game? Like you have to craft a gyro and when you do, you can fly off the roof and that's the end. Could be fun. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see me do. If you do want to see something like that, then I probably won't come back to the mall. You know, I don't want to explore this place too deep if we're going to live here. I think that's it. There used to be turrets in this room that you could pick up. Uh, I don't see them anymore, though. They must have been removed. There's definitely something here, though. There we are. Big old fat ammo pile. And a hidden box. Cardboard box. Not a hidden stash. Nice fat ammo pile, though. Man, we are stacked here. Put this mod on the hammer. Take these uh, bullet casings, and I think that's it. Well, we're loaded up anyway. Let's just get out of here. And we'll see. I'll put some thought into it. Either we'll come back and explore them all further, or I'll possibly do a series here. Oh, don't get up on the account of me. I just wanted some food. Oh, nice. Sham chowder and a mega crush. Yeah, food could be a problem in here. Food and water. There's got to be a water source around. Food. We'll get that figured out. We could definitely start a garden and be all right. Obviously, we can't do any hunting. I think there is maybe some animals in here. Is there a store with pigs? I don't remember. Anyway, that's one of the challenges. If we run out of food and starve, then that's the end. Holy shit. Get out of here. No oh, shit. Man, there's a lot of you fuckers, isn't there? Oh, I just heard a coyote. Yeah, the coyotes are trying to break in. Good. Meat for us. Oh shit, there's a dog too. Where are you going, coyote? You can't run away now. The fucking party's just started. I want this shovel. I'll, um, I'll, I'll scrap the iron arrowheads. Take the shovel. I'm not gonna make iron arrows anymore. We got the recipe for steel arrowheads. I need to get rid of something. We'll dump, uh, these glass jars. Just so I can fit the meat. I'm dropping everything else, but I don't give a shit.
That's just bones and animal fat. Alright, well, let me put some thought into actually doing a series here at the mall, because I know you guys, you're down for anything. Out of the way, asshole, what are you doing standing out here in the middle of the desert? Which, that's what I love about you guys, you're down for anything. But, I want to make sure if we do it, it's going to be good, and it's not going to drag on for too long or fizzle out, because once we explore the entire mall and it's all looted and we're set up and we've got food and everything, you know, it's like, at that point, there's nothing else left to do. So how long is that going to take? I don't think we can do 40 episodes at the mall, you know? Might get a little old when it's the same fucking thing over and over again. You can't leave. So let me think about it. Maybe we can do uh, like a mini-series, like the Taco Truck series. 20 episodes, and that's it. But is 20 episodes enough to get done what we need to get done? I don't know. So, again, let me put some thought into it. And, uh, what the hell is that? See that place? Now, let's just get home. We don't got time for anything else right now. Let's get home, because I got work to do tonight. Look at this. We got another trader wrecked out here in the wasteland. Let me just drop some shit off in the bike. Grab my coin. Let's get in here real quick. Oh, I want to rob his weapons bags. Nice. Nice. Let's see if, if we can buy anything. Oh, shit. Wrong floor. Uh-oh, son of a bitch. All right, well, at least we know where he's at. Let me mark him on the map. I didn't mark the one in the desert on the map, but I will do that tonight so we don't forget where that's at. And uh, now, let's head home. Whoops. Okay, uh, this way. We gotta go that way. All right, that's what? Five traders on the map now? That's pretty good. Oh, shit. Come on. This is some bullshit. It's always something. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty interesting day. We found the desert. It's not that far away. So whenever we need oil shale or nitrate powder or iron, we know we can find a ton of it over there. I mean, there is iron and nitrate powder in the wasteland. It's just a bit harder to find. Anyway... We know where the desert is. We know where the Eden Center Mall is. We found two more traders. It was a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Get Wrecked, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.